Inside our tap method, we're going to create a new switch case block, which will handle all different kinds of animations. All of these will use a new method from UI view called animate with duration, which takes lots of parameters. The ones we'll use are how long to animate for, how long to pause before the animation starts, any options you want to provide, what animations to execute, and finally, a closure that will run when the animation finishes. Now to avoid problems, what we want to do is hide the tap button when the animation starts and show it again when it completes. And we can read that button using the sender parameter passed into our method. Right now it's of type any, but we want to make it some sort of UI view so we can hide it and show it again. So I'll say explicitly that we know sender for a fact is UI button. It's a button that will trigger this method. And with that in place, now we can hide the button as soon as tapped is called by saying sender dot is hidden is true. So hide the button that's triggered this action as soon as it's tapped. Then after that, we can start our animation block. We're going to say UI view dot animate with duration. And there are various options here. One we're going to choose is a duration, a delay, options, and a completion handler. So I'll choose that now. For duration, I'll enter one. For delay, I'll enter zero. Both of these are measured in seconds. So animate over one second with no delay at the start. For options, there are many ways to control the animation. I'm going to enter open and close brackets. No special options being passed in. The animations are provided as a closure, a list of things we want to do when the animation happens. And the reason it's a closure is, of course, because UIKit has to do all sorts of preparation before the animation starts, preparing the system to handle animation. And when it's ready, it'll call your code, your closure, with the animation transformations inside, and afterwards do its cleanup. For the animations parameter, I'll just press enter to fill it in to get an open and close brace. And I'll write switch self dot current animation. Read the current animation value here. If it's case zero, we'll break. And if it's the, any other case, we'll also break. So do nothing either way at this point. For the completion closure, again, I'll select it and press return to fill it in for me. This takes a Boolean, which is whether the animation finished or not. I'll just put finished in. We don't really care though. And here we want to write some code that will unhide the tap button. It'll show it again. So we can write sender dot is hidden is false. Reshow the sender button. After that comes the lines we have code before, the current animation adding one and then looping back to zero again when it passes seven. Now, even though there's a lot of code there, it still won't do anything yet because it's got break and break for our two animation cases. But I do want to mention briefly the fact that I have closures here, the animation closure, and again here, the completion closure. And neither time do I have a capture list. There's no weak self in or strong or unowned, whatever. And the reason for this is there's no chance of having a strong reference cycle here. UI views animate with duration method won't retain its code inside, so it won't hold self strongly. So we haven't got to worry about unowned self here. Now, if you build and run the app now, it should launch the iPad Air simulator. Again, I recommend choosing a fairly low spec iPad for testing purposes. Uh, even though it's quite fast, it's UI kit land, not sprite kit anymore. It'll still be quite fast, but go for a nice low res screen still. Uh, now, what you'll see is when it finally launches, when you tap the button, of course, no work will happen because there's no actual animation code in our application. So there's our penguin, I'll press tap, and nothing at all happens. You'll notice that it doesn't even hide and show the tap button. It just stays visible the entire time. This is because UI kit detects no animations taken place. So it calls the completion closure straight away.